Texas A&M International Horsemanship traveled to Beijing and Shanghai, China to help develop the Western riding discipline with the assistance of Unbridled China and Jay Ranch. Unbridled, the Unbridled China Ranch was originally set up um, as a platform to teach horsemanship to different Chinese clubs and trainers around China. Mm -hmm. uh, that was set up in 2013, uh, just about an hour north of here, near the Great Wall. And then the Unbridled China International Equestrian Club, where we're today, was set up uh, in September of 2017 uh, with the purpose of teaching families and, and children, primarily the youth market, um, horsemanship, and getting them involved in our uh, Western shows. That we're the Chinese horse industry is both diverse and unique, with new developments in the Western horsemanship riding. I would say the horse industry in China is uh, four main areas, which includes racing, English, um, polo, and Western. So Western really started with barrel racing, and barrel racing has been around in China now approximately 10 to 15 years. Um, and in 2012 is when Antal and I got together and decided that we wanted to take it to a different level and start introducing additional disciplines, and that's when we started adding other speed events like pole bending and have gotten into trail and reining and other um, trail challenge, stuff like that. So we've kind of grown it from just speed events to uh, more of a more comprehensive look at horsemanship. And so people use uh, horses for recreational riding and enjoyment as well in China? The Chinese love trail riding. Um, that's probably the most popular um, horse related activity here in, in Beijing and around China. And really, it's just been in the last couple of years that people have uh, wanted to take it to another level and try to learn more about how to be best, better horsemen. Personal horse ownership is not common in China, therefore horse enthusiasts join equestrian clubs to participate in riding. So, equestrian clubs. Uh, in China, there's approximately, as of last year, around 1,500 equestrian clubs. And, and it's really kind of a country club concept where people pay a membership and they get to learn how to ride. Um, the majority of those clubs in China would probably be in Beijing, in the Beijing area, and, but they're spread throughout. Um, people that join, um, families, they want their kids to have more opportunities for international education and they see equestrian as one way to improve their resume. What does it mean for you to have people from the United States, and in this case from Texas A&M, to come and do some teaching? So it's been great. Dr. Leatherwood has known for a few years now, and we've been expressing our interest in kind of strengthening our relationship with Texas A&M, and really all the things that a university can bring and that connection for our members here in China is really important. Um, and we've just been grateful in the horsemanship camps, starting really at the ground level. It's exactly what our members need. Uh, and, then we, and not only our trainers, but our members and, and members from other clubs uh, all are came in today, and I think they, they learned a lot, and we're looking forward to the potential of expanding the summer and in years to come with Texas a &M. So we want to thank you guys. Welcome to China. China, China, welcome you. Welcome to Texas A&M. China needs more education. China also needs more help in the technical aspect.